And now to a taste sensation of a whole new dimension. Flavor tripping. Ever heard of it? It's an experiment among foodies who use a flavor-altering berry to eat foods that are normally too bitter, too sour, too spicy to even stand. Well, now doctors are studying the berry in hopes that it will stimulate the appetite of cancer patients that are undergoing chemotherapy. Doctors say there's some real medical potential with this miracle fruit. To find out more about it, we're going to turn to Dr. Mike Kuzner. He's a medical oncologist and a lead researcher of Mount Sinai Comprehensive Cancer Center, which is in Miami. Doctor, nice to talk to you this morning. Same. Uh, so tell us about how this berry came to, you came to know about this berry and why you think this could be the secret weapon to help people that are going through cancer treatments to actually maintain a healthy and tasty diet. Well, essentially, there's um, several studies that have reported that patients that are undergoing uh, chemotherapy have um, alterations of uh, taste. Some patients describe the food uh, as uh, having metallic taste. Uh, mm -hmm. Some patients actually describe the food as having no taste whatsoever. I, I remember a patient of mine that gave me a quote that I used quite a bit in which he said that he could order pizza and eat the box and not realize the difference in between the box and the pizza. Mm -hmm. Um, one day while I was treating a patient that um, had uh, some work uh, with the Fairchild Botanical Gardens here in uh, Miami, he came across with one of the gardeners and he discussed these issues with the gardener and he told him about this uh, miracle fruit. So he brought it into the office. Uh, essentially, the patient walked into my office with a few of the berries as well as two lemons and uh, he, told, he told me, just try it. And uh, when we tried it, it was quite interesting as uh, you just tried it, and um, we decided to go ahead and uh, try to start a study. Okay, so tell me about see. that study. I know you have support from the Food and Drug Administration for a clinical trial. So about five months now, you have been researching, is it 40 cancer patients, and what have you found? Well, we, the objective is to do the research in a total of uh, 40 patients. At this time, we are close to, I believe, uh, 18 patients accrued into the study. Uh, the results are preliminary so far, uh, but uh, just uh, informally and without doing the full statistical analysis, it appears to be that uh, there is uh, quite a bit of uh, improvement in taste. Uh, out of the first uh, 18 patients, I know only of three patients that have referred that they have no effect uh, on their taste when they tried the fruit. All the other patients have referred that the fruit actually improved quite a bit their uh, taste. So it obviously doesn't help everybody, but it helps a majority of the people that at least you've been studying in this clinical trial. How exactly does it work? This miracle fruit releases some sort of a protein? Yeah, it's, uh, it's not completely well understood. There's uh, several reports in the literature that go back to 1964 and 1968 in which the actual compound of the um, fruit that may alter the taste, uh, it's a protein that it, uh, it's been called the miraculin, um, has been studied, has been uh, attempted to be synthesized in the past by uh, several uh, companies. Uh, however, it has not been done uh, in a large scale. And it appears to be that it just uh, intercalates in the taste buds and uh, improves the, the amount of... Um, of a sensation that is received in the in the tongue receptors. And obviously you're most concerned as an oncologist about the terrific changes it could bring for people that are uh, undergoing chemotherapy, but I understand this also has uh, more medical benefits as well, possibly for somebody battling diabetes. It, that was the original study. In the, in the original study that was attempted to do um, an improvement of, gly of uh, glycemic index uh, on the patients with uh, diabetes, and then they were trying to attempt uh, use of this uh, protein uh, on the fruit as an artificial sweetener. Actually, um, there were some reports of the um, soft drink industry trying to use it as uh, the artificial sweetener for some of their drinks, uh, but it has not been done. So mm -hmm. to my knowledge, is the first uh, actual medical study uh, to be conducted with this fruit. All right, Dr. Mike Kuznir, I have to ask you just as we wrap up, because we're talking about the medical benefits, I have to see, do you often have these flavor tripping or these taste tripping parties just to have a little bit of fun? No, we, uh, I haven't, but I have tried the fruit uh, with several um, of the people in the office just mm -hmm. to, to know that we, it was a believable effect and it was not just my feeling out of the excitement when the patient showed it to me. And uh, it, it does appear to have 
uh, an effect in most of the people with normal taste, so we hopefully will uh, see the same on the patients that are undergoing chemotherapy. Fascinating research. Again, the miracle fruit hailing from West Africa, but found also in South Florida. Dr. Mike Kuznir, medical oncologist and lead researcher with Miami's Mount Sinai Comprehensive Cancer Center. Thank you, doctor. Appreciate it. My pleasure.